Okay, I'm gonna pass some stuff out first. When I pass them out, I'm gonna give everybody rulers. All right, you're gonna measure with your rulers two, three, four, five, and six inch pieces with the uh, material I give you. All right, so when I pass out the material, you're gonna take your rulers and somehow cut up pieces of two, three, four, five, and six inch pieces. That's for the whole group, not, indi not individual sets, a group set of two, three, four, five, six inch pieces. Then what you're gonna do for me, once that's all cut up and ready to go, you're gonna select three of them, jot the lengths down, and you're gonna see if you can form a triangle with those three lengths. And here's what I mean by form a triangle. All three vertices are touching, touching each other. This would be a no, triangle's not formed. This, go off, isn't it? Yep, of course. Why wouldn't it? Probably should give her a heads up about that. Huh? Okay, back here. So all three vertices must, must touch. If it comes up short, that's a no triangle. If it extends further, it forms an exterior angle, that would be a no triangle, all right? Here's what I want from you and your group in about five, six minutes. I want you to find three sets that will form a triangle, three of them. And then I also want you to find two, two that will not form a triangle. All right, so you're gonna pick three once you have them cut up. Put them together, see if they form a triangle. You write yes or you write no, and I want three yeses and two no's. All right? All right, we're going to make this interesting and a little bit fun. Notice it says on there straws, right? Straws, pick three straws and cut them. Uh, you guys are better than straws. I demand better than of you, so I should treat you better than that, right? So I'm going to be handing out some licorice here for you guys to cut up. Let's act like we've seen food before and not savages. All right, yes, you can eat them after we're done. All right, but not until. So let me pass out the rulers as well. So first job, cut out two, three, four, five, six inch pieces of licorice. Pick three, jot them down. Will they form a triangle? Yep, take the straight edge. Got one already, I'll take that one back then. And this big bag is not coming home with me, so you guys are the last group to use to do this activity. So what am I trying to tell you? We're yeah, giving them all out. So go ahead, fellas, go start cutting them up however you want to cut them up. Two, three, four, five, six inch pieces, everybody. So there's a rule out there that three sides of a triangle fit into that formed the first three pairs there, but did not work for the next three pairs. You know, why can't I have one, two, 100? Doesn't follow into this rule that you're going to give me. Four, five, and a half. So two to three, four, two, three to four, that's one. So yeah, I think that is two. The difference. Yeah, two to five is three. Two to five is three. 
I should don't do overthink it. it. Don't overthink it. Look at the three sides that fits in a rule. You cannot, you cannot have any three sides you want. Sometimes we'll not form a triangle. It's got to fit into the rule. Anybody confident? Any group confident they found the rule? Come on, confident you found the rule. The three lengths of a tri the three sides of a triangle. Spence, go ahead, hit it up. What do you got? Two sides have to add greater than three sides. There you go. We got it. Take a look. Four plus six, four plus five. Nine. Bigger than the third side. Check. Five plus six. Eleven. Bigger than the third side. Now you'll notice down here. Now watch. Two plus three. Five. Is it bigger than the third side? No. So that's why it didn't work. Even though you could say, I know three plus six is nine bigger than two. Yes. But as long as you find one that does not add up to be bigger than the third side, no good. It won't form a triangle. My exam, my crazy example up here, one and two, add them up, not bigger than the third side. All right. So to form a triangle, let's write this officially now to form a triangle. Triangle inequality theorem in a triangle. What do you call the result when you add up two numbers? Sum. sum. In a triangle, the sum of two sides must be, finish it. There you go. Must be greater, greater, not greater than or equal to, greater than the third side. So there's your third fact. You have the exterior bigger than the remote interiors, biggest side across from biggest angle. And now if you want to form a triangle, third side, it's sum of two sides bigger than the third. All right, let's see if we really understand this one here. This is not multiple choice. This is a five part question. I'm going to give you three sides. You tell me if you could form a triangle or not based on our new theorem. So if I have a triangle with lengths one, two, and three, if you're going to say no, you better tell me why. All right, lengths one, two, and three, would that form a triangle or not? One, two, and three. Triangle, 12, 13. Oh, sorry, do we have a 12? Yeah. Sorry, Rachel, go ahead. Um, one, two, three. Would that form a triangle? Yes. What's one plus two? Bigger than the third side? Oh, no. no, everyone see why not? Yes, we, we okay, Rachel? Yeah. Everyone all right? That's going to be a no here. Because when I pick two sides, it's not always greater than the third. It always has to be greater than the third. And some of you guys are starting, I don't know, find a quick trick. Just pick the two smaller sides, two smaller sides, add them up, see if it's bigger than the third. If it is, it's probably going to work for the rest of them. Two, four, five, good enough for a triangle. Uh, 12, good enough for a triangle. Redemption. Pick any, go ahead, pick two sides. Um, one, two. Add them up, bigger than the third side, five? Yes. Okay, so we're good. Everyone all right? Five, five, six, is that good enough for a triangle? Five, five, six, eight? Um, yes. Yes? Bonus, what type of triangle? Isosceles. Isosceles, look at, yeah, yeah, boss. Eight, 13, 21, eight, 13, 21. Triangle, one? Two. Why not? Got to be, got to be bigger. Equal does not count. Got to be bigger. And 10, 20, 25. 13? Yes. Yes. It does. All good. So that's one thing I need you to do. If I give you three sides, can I form a triangle or not? Second thing I need you to do, find possible third sides. So down here on number two, we got sides four and seven. 
help me find what the possible third sides could be because it can't be infinite, right? I can't put a hundo down here and it's not working. Four plus seven is not bigger than 100. It can only be a certain amount of side lengths possible. So let's go around. Anybody want to throw one out that would be possible? Four, seven, and what could be the third side so it fits in our rule? Four, seven, you tell me. 13 again? 12. What's four plus seven? Would that be bigger than your 12 you're telling me? So I can't be 12, right? All right, go ahead. So give me another one. Okay. I like 10. 10 will work. There's more, though, but there's not infinite. And go ahead. Four. Would four work? Let's see. Four plus four is eight. Eight's bigger than seven. That works. Let's, okay, now I think we could start rolling through these, right? What else can we write? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Would 11 work? 11? Okay, so I don't want to go any bigger. Would three work? Three work? Why not? Three plus four is seven, so I can't go any smaller. Now, I don't want a list, though, because the further apart these are, the bigger the list will be, wouldn't they? So I don't want to write it out just listing them. What I want to do, and you may or may not have seen this last year in Algebra 1, is write it as an inequality, saying my side could be between this and this. So we're going to let x equal the third side, because we're going to put an x down in this inequality. x is going to be the third side. And we're going to write two inequalities going pointing to the left, pointing to the left. And hopefully you guys have the ability to erase. So it looks like I want everything from 4 to 10, right? X could be anything from 4 to 10. All right. So if I put 4 to 10 here, could, I, could it be 4? Is 4 an okay side length? Could this third side be 4? Could that third side be 4? Does it fit into my rule? Sum of two sides bigger than the third? Okay, so what am I going to need to put then? Anybody remember if I want to include 4? Because right now it doesn't include 4, it doesn't include 10 the way I wrote it. So what, what should I be putting with it? Anybody remember your 4 equal to? So now it does include? Oh, we've still got a problem though. Ready? Here's my problem. What about a side of 3.9? Still work? Think, guys, before you start shaking your head yes or no, think about the rule. Add up two sides, is it bigger than the third? What's 4 plus 3.9? 7.9. 9. Is that bigger than the third side? So can I have a side of 3.9? Where am I, where am I, where's the disconnect here? Some of you guys are still shaking your head no. Sum of two sides. Add up the two smallest sides right now. 4 plus 3.9 gives you what? Is that bigger than my third side? Yes. yes. So does 3.9 work? Yes. yes. But what's the problem? Is it part of your inequality? Yes. No. So I can't have this as my inequality because I'm leaving out possible third sides. All right. 3.9. 3.8 works. 3.7 works, but it's not in my inequality. How can I rewrite my inequality so all these values are there? Say, same thing. Let me erase this. Ten point one. Tell me the one that doesn't work then. If ten point one doesn't work, tell me the two sides added up not bigger than the third. What's four plus seven? Bigger than the third? Anybody find an instance where it won't work? So 10.1 can be a side, but guess what? It's not in our inequality, is it? All right, so I can't have this as my inequality. I need new numbers on the outside. Because if I put, if I put what did we have up there? Four and, a lot, four and 10 won't work. I'm missing values. Spence? 
What about three and eleven? Ten point one fit in now? Yeah. All right. How about my what was the other one we were looking at? Three point nine? Does that fit in? It does. Now, should I put or equal to? Could it be three? No. Is three a good side here? No. Could I have three? Why not? Three plus four is seven. So I can't put the or equal to that. That just took us five minutes, and some of us uh, heads are still spinning, I could tell. Your heads are still spinning how we got that. There's got to be a shortcut, though, instead of listing them all out and then figuring what's on the edges of those inequalities. There's got to be a shortcut. You tell me. Remember, those were the two sides we started off with, right? Four and seven. And look what were our boundaries for the inequality, three and 11. Any way I can use the given sides to get to those boundaries? How can I use four and seven to figure out the boundaries are going to be three and 11 as possible sides? See anything, Abbott? Add and subtract them. Add and subtract them. What's seven minus four? Three, seven plus four? 11. That's how we can get to those a little bit quicker. All right. So use that on number three right now. If I have sides nine and 17 now, two sides, nine and 17. Don't list them. You don't have to waste time listing them. Three. What's going to be my, my set? My X has to be greater than what's going to be the one to the left. Spent eight, but it's got to be smaller than two. Um, what did we just say the shortcut was? I take my two sides and do what with them? Add them. And subtract them. We've already subtracted them to get the eight. So, so when I add the two sides up, it can't be any bigger than... Nine and 17. That's all I'm looking for, nine and 17. 26. Okay. We're all good. What if my two sides are 11 and 20? 10, can't be any, has to be greater than nine but has to be less than, your third side has to be less than one? 31. 31. Okay, so a little shortcut instead of having to list out all the sides. Questions? Okay, if your group is not taking the licorice with you, please don't leave it on the floor or on the table, throw it in the garbage. Uh, I'm not gonna have you guys get started. There's only four minutes left. <laughs> Thank you.